Hey, quick question. If you open Notion right now to capture some task, how long it takes to load? It's very long time sometimes, right? It's get even more worse if you have bad internet connection. All right, let's not waste our time. Let's go and fix it. My name is Vadim, former engineer turned to digital nomad and welcome to my YouTube channel. We will use Apple shortcut and Notion API to achieve this quick capture. All right, I'm not a programmer, so if I can do it, I'm sure you can do it too. I'll do it on my Mac, but the principles will work as well on iPhone or iPad. Just follow along. Before we start, we need to collect some information, but stay with me. We will do it step by step. I have here on the right side, simple Apple notes, and we need DB ID, API URL, and API key. Don't worry about this one. I will explain it later. Let this one not distract you right now. Let's get started. Okay, first we will open new page we'll called tasks and then table view new database. Let's delete this one and only have a one database. Perfect. We don't need anything else, only this. You can add later more properties if you need. If you copy the link of your database and we Put it here all right now we have our first key element here this is the id so you just copy this part and everything else you can delete it you can also if you click here share and copy link you get the same result it doesn't matter which one you prefer all right we have the first one check all right next one we need the api url type in google notion api you have like you get this website we will open a new tab and you have a lot of guidelines if you feel stuck you can read it and check how it's work for this tutorial you don't need it in the case you want to check it out you can check api preference and then we will work with pages and you have like a lot of explanation here you can check it out of course it's not easy to read but we will do it together api well it's basically the same it's api notion com and then pages Okay, now um, API key. We open our website here again, and then you have to log in. Um, I'm already signed up. And then you go to view my integration. And what you wanna do is click this big button here, create a new integration, type it, put it in turn. For this case, so called YouTube demo. Uh, you can upload the logo if you want. Uh, for this, we kept it, keep it simple, go without logo. Okay, so bit now, you have the secret API key. So you will just copy and paste them in the notes. Copy it here. Okay, beautiful. Now we have everything we need. One last thing. Make sure you will put this keyword. I cannot pronounce it. In front of the, your API key. It's in the documentation as well. DB ID check. URL check. API key check. JSON. We have it as well. We go to our shortcut app and we'll create new shortcut name notion task we got it here all right now we need five items ask for input dictionary text url and get url okay let's go ask for input got it and dictionary and text got it next url got it and get content from url we, all right we're good to go let's do it step by step okay the first one ask for input your task sir next is Dictionary. Dictionary is just translating from one app, in this case shortcut, to Notion API that they can understand the language. It's like if someone speaks German, you will not understand it. They will translate it to this language to make it work. Let's do our work here. We have here DB ID and API URL and API key. Great. Now you put here type text and now we will step by step just copy and paste it. Make sure that you have space between your API key and this keyword. It's very important here the space. Then you just copy and paste it. No worries. The shortcut app have some issues to display the full text should be fine the most important thing that you have the space between and the secret api key next we will just copy and paste the json don't worry about this too much just copy and paste the same if you have your own json structure you can use it as well for this example i will use this one here we will select 
and the canary let's move here we call it api and then db id okay great for this one replace you will do the same but provided input basically what you type in will push to the notion task database you do the same dictionary and for this case you will use api url all right next what we want to do is change this one uh, to url and we go post method um, basically what does mean that we write on our database a notion for next one we need to collect some more data we gathered our last information let's put it in our shortcut very important here just you have the headers here you have to open i did this mistake before i enter the data down there so you will need three and basically just copy and paste what we collected here i got this data from the documentation you can copy and paste it notion version should be work as well with this date so but if you have some issues just upgrade it to the new notion version you can find it in the documentation i will put everything in description here we will use API key again as a dictionary and then here API, API key. Beautiful. Okay, and here you will select from file and then choose text. We are done. One thing we have to do is to connect with our API. Go to your task database, three dots here and add connection. And then you will check for your name. We call it YouTube demo. Continue. And now you see we have access. All right, let's test it out. This is a good. Uh, for the first time, if you activate the shortcut, they will ask if you, if they can connect to internet connection to like browser. In my case, it's Arc. For your case, maybe Google Chrome or something else. Then you will hit allow. Let's check it out. Test okay if we have something like this it's always a good sign let's check it out beautiful it's working let's try it one more time by milk beautiful we are done i'll put everything in description so you can check it out last thing uh, we have to set shortcut for our shortcut you know this game all right so we got it okay beautiful let's close this all up here let's pimp our task database a little bit check like this one let's go with gray okay let's check it out by water oh beautiful i love it okay one more time japan great the good part you can set up some shortcut on your iphone uh, you can use double or triple tab or just basically to your share with your screen I hope this was helpful. You will save a lot of loading time if you use this shortcut. Everything else I will put in the link in the description. You can check it out. Thank you so much for watching. Check out my last video, how I did it for the reminder and Apple Notes. And of course, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe. And most important, let me know in the comments below how you use Notion to use it for task management, for school, for project management or for note taking. All right, see you in the next one.